Hey, dipshit, what you doing out there in the middle of the dad bird lane? Paddling around in the ways like a seal on drugs. Hey, what's up, guys? Bird on Cats here. Um, just finished up an incredible weekend of fishing, Independence Day weekend, America. Um, um, it was there was so much going on all weekend uh, with the camping and just being extremely tired and really putting in a lot of energy to finding these fish. Uh, so I'm filming this intro posthumously. Um, anyway, um, you know, basically, you know, we fished. Carolina rig uh, suspended from the yak. Uh, we the fish we found a fish a bit deeper than we expected to this weekend. Uh, post spawn sort of. I mean, I think every fish I got this weekend was female. So perhaps the end of the lake I fish on spawned a bit later. We didn't see any males, um, but man, it was it was great, and I, I I didn't know what to expect there being so much boat traffic. Um, but what came about was was great and uh anyway let's cut to the action hey what's up guys bird on cats in the house hooked up to a pretty solid fish weekend of birdies part two first fish of the morning if you can get him up here Got this big cat fever rod bent over pretty good. Let's see what we got here. Yes, sir. That's a solid blue cat. Solid fish. Let me get the net out for this guy. Ooh wee. Guys, if there's one thing to learn from me, if there's anything to learn from me at all, is to make sure you have your net extended before you catch fish. There we go. Because now what happens is everything, the net is hooked on this other rod. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. All right. <laughs> I was a little unprepared. Not going to lie. All right. Solid fish start the morning off. Start the weekend off. No, this one ate a white bass head. I got here last last uh, yesterday evening and trolled around some spoons and got a bunch of fresh baits. Got some white bass. Got some fresh gold eye too. Got two gold eye chunks down and a white bass just to see what they were gonna eat today. And I've had zero action on the gold eye. This fish came on the white bass. All right. All right. First fish of the morning. Solid blue cat. Sorry about that, bud. All right. In you go. None the worse for wear. Fish back in the water. Healthy. Probably 
not super happy about that whole ordeal, but hey, it is what it is. Whew. All right, we're in 32 feet of water in the creek bed, back up to my old tricks. So, uh, sign off here for a second, get another bait back down, and see what else is down there. Thank you guys for joining me this weekend. Happy 4th of July. What's up, guys? Bird on cats back in the house. Been sitting out here forever trying to figure out this pattern. Finally got another fish on here. We moved back into about 25 feet of water. I'm not sure if this fish is big or if he's just wrapped, but hey, it's a fish for the camera, right? <laughs> well, let's get him up here. He's trying to pull now. That's a decent fish. Not as big as the first one. Oh, my favorite. It's a channel cat. <laughs> Story of my day so far. Definitely not going to need the net for this one. I'm hoping that he just goes away. Go away. Oh, channel cats. They're the worst. Dude, I got you. I would prefer to not have you. But, for the time being. Man, this hook absolutely smoked this dude. <laughs> so basically it's weird man there's a this area is absolutely loaded with shad and i've been marking fish but they're not eating these big fresh baits that i have so i don't know like you know i've heard that if the fish gorge themselves on shad that sometimes you can tempt them with you know some different baits like just they can't help themselves but it hasn't been the case today i caught that decent fish this morning and i've got this moron look at this turd these things are they're long and slim and they fight hard but they're just not what i'm looking for so let's get it back in and uh you know i've got three days to try to figure out this pattern so the blues are somewhere in here I don't know. I've got a, I've got several different op, different options for this weekend, and I'm gonna try them all, and I'm gonna work them all hard. So that's what I do, man. I'm a fisherman. So, all right. Well, sorry for the uh, disappointing fish, <laughs> but uh, hopefully we'll get another one on. All right. Thanks for joining. What's up, guys? Back in the house with another fish on. I'm not gonna say it's big, cause you know what happened last time. But this fish is just swimming all around everywhere. Work 
level line on that reel and now I'm bleeding. <laughs> guys back uh, man although these fish aren't giants the bite is absolutely on fire we got another another milford blue here he is, i mean i'm putting on baits that are too big for these fish to get, and they're still trying to choke them down so you know what i don't get if i don't get my my absolute pig today i'm fine with that because this bite is just unbelievable the action is awesome right now. Come here, bud. Look at this turd. Ow. Come here. You idiot, I'm gonna let you go. The size of this bait, he had it all the way in his mouth and was stuck in his mouth. A little dinker, but man, are they aggressive today. This is awesome. I'll, you know what? I love catching huge fish, but I will take aggressive small fish that fight like hell. I'll take those two all day long. So. Anyway, we got this, uh, a lot of white bass in the area, lots and lots and lots of them, and we've just been catching them like hot cakes or, I don't know, I can't think of a better analogy right now, but, so there's plenty of fresh bait around. I'm pretty, pretty close to out of bait, so, um, and it's about 10.30. The bite should die here in about 30 minutes, typically how it goes out here. So, uh, you know, hopefully, you get this bait back down there and hopefully you can get on another one before uh, I have to go get more bait. Un unreal. It's, it's on fire right now. It's awesome. Looks like this rod is getting take on it. He's going to have to take it like a man though. No, no dinky putting around. Anyway, hopefully we'll be back. Thanks for joining. <laughs> What's up guys? Bird back in the bird house got another solid fish on this is just like these fish are so aggressive right now I got it I mean even though this these aren't giants still I'm having such a good time today this is incredible I 
much, but Fire, dude! This day is fire! Another solid, feisty blue cat. Man, this thing fought like it was thousands of pounds. <laughs> this ain't shit. Awesome. Woo! This day is awesome, dude! All right, let's get another bait back down there. We got just a little bit of bait left. They're gonna call it. We're gonna have to call it and go in and regroup and get some more baits. You know, plan out. We're gonna. I got a. I have a pretty good idea what to do this evening. Um, go back and talk about it with my buddy and formulate a plan and come out here and execute it this evening. So hopefully I can be back with another fish before I either run out of bait or get too hot and too hungry. So anyways, thanks for joining Independence Day weekend. Happy 4th of July guys and gals. Appreciate you watching, if you're watching it, thanks. What's up guys? I was just about to call it, go in and get some lunch and then I had a, this rod with, I have a big, oh yeah. He wasn't very far down. I, I'm, I'm stupefied right now. This is a big blue and he came up fast. Oh. <sighs> Woo Oh, I've worked so hard for this fish this weekend so far. <laughs> oh, woo! I, no sooner did that fish take that bait rod over and I leaned over and cranked down it, which I didn't have to do, that fish was hooked already. And I, I turned the camera on, video rolling footage, and this fish was like already up. Like these fish are just absolutely incredibly aggressive today. And this is a good, 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 good blue cat right here. <laughs> worked really hard sometimes it takes a day or two man you know to figure out the pattern you can be in a great area and there's but there's a lot of different structural options there's flats maybe there's a there you know there's a creek bed uh, in the area i'm in there's also a channel ledge uh, i guess if you want to call it that but it's a steep it's a steep change of depth that happens for you know probably a quarter of a mile and i just posted up on that man and let the wind blow me into position and <laughs> Justin went in for a sandwich. He missed out. Anyway, uh, let's get this fish up here. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, got some jaws on him. Her. Oh. oh. This is a big fish. Settle down. Settle down. I know what you want to do right now. Don't do it. Settle down. Let me hold you up for the camera. And then you go back, okay? Big female. Solid fish right there. Milford trophy blue cat fishing. <laughs> I'm so happy. I worked so hard to figure this pattern out. All right, let's get her back in. All right, girl.
I think you know that fish was released healthy. Oh my God. When you work really hard for something, uh, you know, it just feels that much better when you're rewarded. If you just have everything given to you your whole life, nothing means anything. And this means, this, this kind of shit means everything to me. <clears throat> I'm out here living my best life, you know, I'll be 43 in September. And uh, I just want to have a good time and I want to catch big fish. I love it. I don't know why I do. I don't know why I'm about this life, but I'm about this life. 100%. Thank you guys so much for joining us. <laughs> All right, we'll be back. <laughs> Bird on cats. Hit the like and subscribe button if you want to. I don't know. Nobody ever really does, but maybe if I tell you to, maybe if I suggest it, you will or something. I don't know. It doesn't matter. I don't care. I'm just having a great time. Thank you guys for joining me. Come along for the ride. Hey, what's up, guys? Bird on cats back in the house, day three. Of Independence Day weekend cat wrangling. Got our first fish on of the morning here. About 7:45. White best body section, about 35 feet of water off Main Lake Point and Ledge. This is one of those slow rollers. He's not really moving. He's just kind of being heavy and being lazy. He doesn't know he's hooked yet. Which means when he does figure that out, he's not going to be happy. Let me go ahead and get this other bait out of the way. He's hooked now. I think he just realized that there's a kayak up here. Got some bubbles. It's getting pretty close. I don't want to horse this fish. I don't know how big it is. He's got a little, feels like he's got a little weight to him. He's pulling. Oh, 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 oh man. Yeah, this is going to be a solid first fish of the morning, no doubt about that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is going to be... Hey, Justin! I'm hooked up bigger than shit! Is that why I'm taking? Yeah. Hell yeah! Yeah, he's towing me. This is going to be a pretty good fish here. Oh. There's some big bubbles, guys. This fish is pretty strong. Come on up here. Oh, 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 oh man. <laughs> oh my oh my goodness oh he's just peel and drag oh mercy mind games now. Oh. 
this is going to be the biggest fish of the weekend so far. I don't think there's any doubt about that. Oh my goodness. Oh. This one's going to give me a hernia. Oh yeah, dude, this is a pig. Oh. All right, the moment of truth. This fish is heavy. Oh, it's caught in the anchor rope. That is not good. That's why I can't get this fish up here. Oh no. It's pretty big. It's also hung in the anchor rope. I can figure this out. Oh man, get out of there. I'm gonna lose this fish. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do this. I can just get it in the net. I should be able to. Oh man. Oh. Anchor. It's gonna pull this up for me. Oh, come on. Oh my goodness. This is a big fish, dude. Part one of the battle's over. We've got the fish captured. I can work from here. Now I can work with this. about fishing in the kayak guys is that everything is way harder to do especially when you're fishing for fish like this
this is a this is a beast thanks for hanging out while i got through that i'm gonna reward you guys with a nice fish here What I need to do is get this fish unhooked so that my line will let go of the anchor rope. Oh man, this is a mess. Dude, you have really, you have really done a number on things here. strong this is why you have a net 100% oh. you ready for this Here it comes. Oh. Look at this. Beautiful, beautiful fish. All right, let's get him back. Go on, bud. There you go. Go on, get. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. Awesome, man. All right, <laughs> let me entangle this horrible mess I have going on and get some baits back down there. Hopefully, I'll be back. Thank you guys as always for joining. What's up, guys? No, he's tangled in it. Okay. Bird on cats back in the house. We got another solid fish on the line. Uh, man, this weekend has been awesome. <laughs> it just keeps getting better. Uh, What do we have in the mix this time? We're still fishing about 35 feet of water. Uh, kind of an underwater highway, sort of a, at the bottom of a ledge where it kind of goes into a creek bed. Not at the very bottom, just an up, up off of it so that uh, we got some structure. Oh yeah, another excellent milfit. You can come here. America! <laughs> All right, let's see what we got here. Show you guys a little something. Once I find the right glove. I was just about to have a little drink of my little drinky poo and that rod just went over. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> she is not ready to be here today. I think I had I think she didn't I don't think she's had her coffee yet. I don't know if I want to bring this thing in the yak, dude. It might, she might, she might break stuff. Come 
Come here, you. Man, I got lucky with that fish, dude. That hook, as soon as I got this fish in the net, that hook came out. No way. Like, not even, like, split second. Nuts for the win. All right, come here. There we go. She smells horrible, but man, is she beautiful. <laughs> I love my kitties. All right, let's get her back in the drink. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. My cup of experience overflows this weekend, that's for sure. I'm working my ass off for these fish, finding this pattern, boat traffic and everything else that comes with a holiday weekend, you know? But, uh, you know, it pays off. The time you put into stuff, you know, the effort you put in is what you get out of it. And that goes for everything in life, not just fishing. Anyway, I got a tangled mess of lines right now, so I'm gonna get that fixed and get these baits back down. Hopefully we'll be back. Thank you guys so much for joining me as always. Hit the like and subscribe button if you want to. All right, deuces.